It's an Easter egg hunt like none other. A Valley Springs teenager came up with the idea, and when other people heard what he was doing, they immediately jumped in to help. In tonight's Positively Kettle Land, Sarah McDonald takes you to Valley Springs, where people are coming together in order to put smiles on kids' faces. If you come across an Easter egg hidden in Valley Springs, you may be surprised what you find inside. I decided to hide golden eggs with like $20 in it. Johnny Ackerman is the one who came up with the idea. Last year we had about 500 Easter eggs filled with candy and like an inspirational quote because of COVID because the Valley Springs Community Club wasn't having their regular hunt. But this year they were, so I didn't want to take that away from them. Originally, Ackerman planned to hide just one golden egg. Then he posted something on social media. Then I had my first donor like at 6 o'clock last night and then all of a sudden it took off from there and now we're up to 26 eggs already. I really just wanted to make at least one kid's day and then when it blew off I was just thinking about all the kids' days I'm going to make and it makes me feel good about myself. Michael Gross is one of the people who contributed to Ackerman's egg hunt. I seen it on Facebook and I thought it was a really cool idea. Uh, my wife and I like to donate back to anything. Johnny's amazing. Some of the stuff he does around the community, he's always trying to be one step ahead of other people and um, giving back to the community and I think it's a great thing. Ackerman is hiding the eggs around town. Inside each one you'll find a note. My phone number and my Facebook, that way I didn't want one to like blow away and then the $20 go missing. He's thankful his idea was able to bring so many people together and will put smiles on so many faces. I want to thank everyone who's done it. I've tried to reach out to them as much as I can. I would have never guessed that it would have went grew that fast and the way it did, it was absolutely amazing. It truly shows how good of a community Valley Springs actually is. With Positively Killaland, I'm Sarah McDonald. As of this morning, Ackerman had received more than $500 in donations. He is posting clues to where the eggs are hidden on the Valley Springs Community Facebook page, so check it out.